KMR Rotary. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching. And if you can, check out the website and the eBay store. We've got some new KMR products. We're now stocking more OEM parts. And we've got all the classic porting templates and everything available. So whether it's the website or the eBay store, let me know if you're needing anything that's not there. And make sure to check out what we got going on. So I want to talk today a little bit about what we call these parts. I think that it's become a little bit of a topic in the comment section, and I mean to keep it lighthearted. This is meant to just be joking and educational. So when I'm referring to components, everybody's on the same page. So I think we all know rotor housing. We can talk about this a little more in a moment. We'll come back to it, but aluminum, rotor sits inside of it, basically housing the rotor, creating the chamber, rotor housing, pretty, pretty easy to refer to. Now, the cast iron component, this thing that stacks on there, you know, depending on where you're at in the world, depending on who you have discussed components with, I've heard it referred to as different things. Um, it could be called the side plate, side housing, iron housing, iron plate, cast iron housing, cast iron plate. Um, and I'm sure there's a bunch of more references, um, all of which I would deem correct. And uh, one of the unique things about it is when I was discussing this same topic with uh, some of the engine builders I learned from, most of them referred to it as a side housing or iron housing or side plate. Pretty, pretty narrow window. I think there was actually more available options out there. And I started to ask the same question. Hey, what is this actually supposed to be called? Um, it's obviously not the rotor housing. Why do we refer to them as housings? And one of them had worked with Mazda, at Mazda, and with their racing programs. And he quickly jumped in and said, well, when you stack the side housing onto the rotor housing, it becomes part of what is housing the rotor, creating the chamber. So you have an iron housing and you have a rotor housing com completing the rotor chamber, the, the housing itself. And basically in his mind, and as he described the components to me and somebody I learned uh, engine building from, is he goes, basically the motor is built as housings. Those housings build the motor. You, those create the chamber. Um, and, you know, that's just how they were described to me. So obviously I've carried that on in the channel. And, you know, getting into what Mazda calls them, I would also like to back up that Mazda does not call them plates. Mazda calls them housings. And that's a factory part number, factory label. And this happens to be a Cosmo rear box. So this isn't even a readily available U.S. component. Um, you know, and I looked through multiple boxes, multiple uh, different uh, components, RX-7, RX-8, and when it came to the side housings, side plates, whatever you want to refer, refer to them as, the cast iron component, the boxes are labeled as housings with part numbers referring to the side cast iron housings. And when you get over to the rotor housings, it's also very clear that they are a housing as well. And uh, the part numbers on this particular box were an 87 to 88 turbo. This happens to be an FD3S housing, just a courtesy Mazda tricks uh, allowed us to borrow a couple components. Um, this one's uh, in for work. This one's just an OEM one on the shelf and uh, a couple boxes that had been uh, previous motor builds. So I don't know what to tell everybody. I think uh, multiple people have said, KMR, how can you even be a rotary enthusiast? How can you call yourself a rotary expert? And I don't really go down that road. I just try to share the knowledge of what I've learned. Um, we're a rotary specialist, and I try to use the knowledge I've learned on both my own cars, the Mazda Trix cars, other race cars, to help better the engine builds at the shop and better the information on the internet. So it's, again, my opinion and uh, a lot of it's based off of what I've learned, what I've heard, and what I've done. So, hey, if somebody else has a different opinion, that's perfectly fine. And uh, I refer to them as side plates and side housings all the time. So I think both is completely logical. Um, and I honestly 
feel like I've seen these side housing boxes at some point labeled housing plate. So if somebody has an old box that has a different type of labeling, that could explain a little bit of the confusion. But as far as I can remember in any recent history, um, as far as anybody could remember at Mazda Tricks, all of the past years of boxes, it's been basically one word on all the uh, housing boxes, whether it be a cast iron housing or an aluminum rotor housing, you're looking at housings. I, I know we refer to them as plates, but we don't eat off of them. Um, if they're clean, we probably could. It really is an engine component, and it's part of the chamber and the building of the housings that house the rotor that create the combustion chamber of the rotary engine. I think I, think I got that. All right, so that's meant to be fun. Um, I thought it was a cool topic, and uh, people keep bringing it up on the channel, so now I've got a video that I can refer to anybody who asks me why. I'm calling the cast iron side housing that goes on a rotary engine not a plate. Um, but sometimes I refer to them as plates as well because everybody in the industry kind of mixes that descriptional terminology. So thank you so much for watching. Um, we've got some more great topics coming up. We've got some builds, uh, KMR projects. We're going to get back. Uh, we dynoed that Bridgeport RX-7 GT motor, so we've got some numbers on that. We've got some race footage. It took a win. So uh, we've got a lot to cover on the channel, and uh, we'll try to get as much of that in in the next couple weeks. Thanks again. That's a wrap.